Now, we've told you about this young man before, LeBron Saffold. How long ago is it? Three, three, years, three ago. years ago. He's a young man paralyzed from the waist down in an automobile accident. And really, he could have given up on, on life, but he did not. Instead, he's building a better life, not only for himself, but for other people. His story truly is what's right with Tampa Bay. Oh, man, what's up? It was nearly three years ago when we introduced you to LeBron Saffold, 17 years old and learning to live with being paralyzed from the waist down. Real. Oh, man, that's a real computer. That is Surprise true. gift, a computer from his nurses at Tampa General Hospital, a gift of hope for the King High School yeah, honor man, senior. I want to do something I can give back, you know, I just, I don't want to just live for myself. I want to live to be able to help someone else. This is an article that you can get. Today, LeBron is a Look college at student here at Hillsborough Community College's Ybor City campus, and the smile and the hope are still with him. God says if, if, if you're grateful with a little, he'll bless you with more. So I've just been just, just grateful with the little bit I have and not complaining, not worrying, just having faith in God and everything has been going great. Living on his own, LeBron has concentrated on what he could do, not what he could not do. I was determined. I didn't want to be dependent on someone for the rest of my life. So I did everything I possibly could to set myself up to be independent. And I want to do whatever it takes to see you, see you succeed, man. And LeBron spends his free time giving back to others. This right here is, is the most important thing in your life at this time being. This is Billy Gaines at Academy Prep. LeBron is his mentor. He's a wonderful young man. And I really, really enjoy working with him. And I just want to see him prosper. Do you think it's because of what you've been through that you have this attitude, yeah. this wonderful attitude? It, it really is, because I've been around some, some great people that's really helped me to be able to see. And he credits the love others have given him in the past three years for his success. I fell in love with God, and when I fell in love with God, it, helps, it helped me love myself. And when I loved myself, I was able to love others and to realize that how much others love me. And that, he says, has given him his strength. You look great. This day, LeBron has come for a visit to TGH Pediatrics, where his life changed so dramatically, and he finds love waiting for him. You look awesome. He has come a long way. I want to help myself so that eventually I can help others. I want others to see that despite of where you've been, uh, what you've been through, you can still succeed. I'm blessed to be here. Life is so precious. Life is so precious. I have a lot to be happy for. I really do. I tell you, we're going to be sure. hearing more from LeBron. He is unbelievable. What an outstanding young man. Uh, to be surrounded by people who care so much about him. Oh. And, you know, that's why the environment in the hospital is really important. Were you on a critical issue? That becomes extremely oh, it certainly does. important to the welfare of the patient. Mm -hmm. So there you got a perfect example of it.